Welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody. We're live at AJ's Lodge and Oven here in Berglund, right on Lake Ogibbic. We are in the oven portion of the business, which is the newer part. It opened in 2020, so just about four years now. But the vibes in here, immaculate, Mary Beth. I would love to have another meal here, even on a rainy day, on a sunny day, even out, uh, out on the lake. You told me you don't serve walleye though so no walleye dinner we learned that looking over <laughs> looking right. the lake but there's plenty of other really great offerings here there is we um we serve wood-fired pizzas mm -hmm. and i think anthony's gonna make a pizza here for us we have chicago style sandwiches um uh, jim um is from chicago mm -hmm. and he was a tradesman and he grew up in chicago delivering heating and air conditioning equipment throughout chicago so he went to beef stands so he he knows good italian beef and mm -hmm. euros and uh and tacos and with chicago dogs and we put those items mm -hmm. on our menus so everything is fresh never frozen anthony makes the dough daily we've got a sauce recipe that goes back generations in our family um, we have a signature cheese blend nothing is frozen everything we process all of our vegetables each and every day so we take a lot of love and care in making each pizza our, our very best what about the design of the building um, you had said this was just kind of a boarded up space before you guys renovated um, what did it take to get here and what you know what Obviously, it's very open and inviting, but uh, how did you get there? Well, we bought the property 12 years ago, and it was just the lodge. And when we first bought the lodge, we really spent a lot of time renovating our rooms and getting those rooms up to standards. And this was a fire pit. Actually, where you are standing right now, we were on the ground, we had big rocks, and everyone hung out at the fire pit, and there was a woods over here. So we actually had to clear the woods, get the, rid of the fire pit, and we, broke, we built this from the ground up. Wow. Um, Jim and Anthony, Jim's Anthony's dad, have worked on this, wow. and you know we lost a lot of our contractors due to COVID. We've got some really nice elements in here, like our 100-year-old back bar. And this came out of the Crossing Inn in Wakefield. Wow. And the family had closed that bar, and we took it apart and brought it here in pieces. And we assembled it, Anthony and his team of friends, and um, renovated it. And now we've got this beautiful, it looks like it almost grew here. Yeah, it does. You know? It does. So there's a lot of different pieces, old and new, that go together to make this a really cool space yeah, yeah. for people to hang out. And it's, a, it's really cool because it's all blended in with your family tradition and family history. Like you were mentioning Anthony on the pizza ovens. He's your son and your family pizza sauce recipe. Well, it's actually my mother's recipe mm -hmm. and we kind of have brought it in here. Now Anthony makes that sauce mm -hmm. every day and it's used in, you know, in our pizzas and, uh, you know, with our meatballs and things like that. So we've got a lot of, you know, generational history that goes into here. And I want to mention Anthony also because I've seen pictures of him where he was like this big working here helping out and now he's this big also working here and helping out so uh, how how has he kind of taken this on and and where do you see the future of this going well anthony's been making beds here since he was eight years old and we learned the fact of we work when other people play because that's what we do in the service industry so we started out there and he was very integral in building this he laid the floor he you know put this all together and since we've opened he's developed an immense passion for the kitchen mm. so the kitchen Anthony's now our general manager so he's gone from making beds at eight years old to 19 years old mm -hmm. um, and I think I showed you pictures when he took Blake Codwell out on the lake yeah. when they were on an ice fishing tournament he was like, Maybe this big. right <laughs> right so um, you know as we look his dad and I you know get a little older we're looking to step back and Anthony's gonna take the reins and he loves this property he wants to stay here and this will be the future of this will belong to to Anthony so you'll see in the passion of the food that comes out it's eminent everywhere and I mean I can imagine he's been an integral part to just making this a family friendly affair making this a place for people of all ages to come and enjoy well Anthony and, and our team we have Tori our, our, our promotions and bar manager here as well the two of them are amazing team and when people come here you know you can have Walt Disney said you know um, it takes people to make a dream a reality you know you can have the most beautiful building in the world but if you don't have people that are dedicated and passionate about it it's just wood and mortar 
Mm. So I think our team is what really brings everything to life, as well as the people that come here. The people that come here are our friends. You know, we become you know involved in each other's lives, and we encourage each other and cheer each other on and get involved with their families. So it is quite a family affair around here. And we're going to meet some of those people yeah. that are involved in making this such an exceptional place to visit, to stay, to eat at. We do have to take another break, but I believe we're going into the kitchen, if yeah, not in the next talk segment. With Anthony. Eventually, yeah. So stick around.